Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Brokers and Analysts Conference of Arvind and Company Shipping Agencies Limited to discuss the upcoming SME IPO. We have with us today Mr. Vineet Shah, Promoter and Whole Time Director from Arvind and Company Shipping Agencies Limited. Beeline Capital Advisors Private Limited is the lead manager to the issue. From the Beeline team, we have with us today Mr. Neville Savjani, co-founder and head merchant banking at Beeline Capital Advisors Private Limited. We also have with us today Mr. Sarvesh <coughs> Gohil from Messrs. Sarvesh Gohil and Associates, advisor to the issue. At this moment, all participants are in the listen-only mode. Later, we will conduct a question and answer session. At that time, you may click on the Q&A tab to ask a live question. Please note that this conference is being recorded. Incorporated in 1988, Arvind and Company Shipping Agencies Limited is a part of a renowned Arcadia group. The company is headed by Mr. Arvind Shah, Chairman and Managing Director, having an experience of over five decades in barge chartering services. Mr. Vineet Shah, promoter and whole time director, has around 15 plus years of experience in stevedoring and shipping industry. The company is headquartered in Jamnagar, Gujarat, and provides comprehensive barge chartering services for commercial purposes. As of date, ACSAL owns five barges and specializes in tailor made solutions to meet specific customer demands. The company also operates in the hospitality segment through ownership of Hotel Millennium Plaza and Hotel 999. ACSAL operates in close proximity to the key port of Jamnagar and has long-standing relationships with clients across diverse sectors. Downstream user industries including shipping, construction and logistics. The company reported revenue of Rs 711.45 lakh EBITDA of Rs 658.3 lakh and PAT of Rs 374.12 lakh in FY 2023. Over the years, ACSAL has built a robust and scalable business model with a competitive cost structure and a robust client relationships and is well poised to expand capacities riding on the upcoming IPO. The company is offering 32,76,000 equity shares at an issue price of Rs. 45 through the book building route. The issue would list on NSE Emerge and to discuss more on it, I would now like to request Mr. Vineet Shah, Promoter and Whole Time Director, to share the opening remarks, insights about the company and also take us through the presentation. Thank you and over to you, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. It was uh, it's a pleasure having you all uh, on board here uh, today, uh, today afternoon. Let me take you through the company and let's start the presentation. Can we have the slide one, please? First of all, uh, my name is Vinit Shah, the director at uh, Kedia Arvind and Company Shipping Agencies Limited. Uh, we are a group of companies uh, started uh, about 40 50 years back by my grandfather and my father. Uh, we are into various kind of uh, different marine related activities from uh, cargo handling to uh, uh, Stevedoring and light edge operations as well as infrastructure. Next slide, please. Basically, this company was founded in '87 uh, by my father, and uh, we are mainly into uh, barge uh, chartering in this particular company, with a growth with a focus on mainly. Uh, Infrastructure companies, which is of uh, current, which is uh, 
in demand at the moment and more focus on providing logistical help as well as uh, equipment help to big infrastructure companies like L&T and Nefcons and uh, companies like that. And lately we have also ventured into hospitality business, uh, mainly catering uh, with uh, two hotels in uh, the Jamnagar area in and around uh, Reliance Refinery. And that basically that is what we are doing at the moment. Let me take you through other aspects. Uh, can we have another slide, please? Basically, we have, had, have had four, five barges in this company right now, two added currently in this year. Um, as you, I told you before, we are in this industry since last uh, 35, 40 years. Mostly, majority of revenue is from uh, the barge business. Uh, and, uh, and combined with the two hotels, what we have, we have about 144 rooms. And our margins, as you are seeing, are almost 90%. And gross margins are about 40, uh, 48%. We are planning to add two more barges in this uh, financial year, which will take our barge strength to seven barges. The next slide, please. As you can see, we were incorporated in 1998 and since then, slowly and steadily, we have been adding our, our hotel business as well as uh, new barges every year. Now we are wanting to take a little bit more aggressive growth and grow this fleet in the future. Next, please. So our company consists of, these are the directors, my father, Arvind uh, Shah, who is the managing director. I am the whole time director, Amit Shah. Uh, my mother is one of the promoters and non-executive director, Parul Shah. Piyush Vora, he has been with us uh, from the beginning of his career. He is uh, non-executive director and uh, same with Mr. Vijay Shamti Riptani and uh, Vipul Suresh Chandra Arya. We have extensive uh, experience in this field as well. Next, please. So, we've gone through the board of directors, and this is the kind of the company structure what we have at the moment. If you have any questions, we can take it up later during the QA sessions. Next, please. So, these are the two verticals we are uh, basically in uh, barge rental in the hospitality sector. The majority of our revenue, as I had said before, is from the batch business and remainder about 20% from 15-20% uh, from the hotel business. The two hotels comprising of one of Millennium Plaza and one is Hotel 999. Both in a similar vicinity but diff targeting a different uh, segment of clientele. Next please. So let me take a few minutes of yours and explain to you what barging is. Historically, all these barges were being used mainly for transportation of cargoes. But now with the growth of infrastructure and newer ports and bridges, bridges over water, uh, be, be rivers, be it sea, uh, all these kind of new infrastructure uh, activities going on around the coast of India has pushed demand for these dumb cargo barges, which is essentially a floating landmass, if you may call it, on water to accommodate uh, infrastructure equipment like excavators, cranes, as well as aiding for movement of cargoes like cement, steel to the construction site, which is uh, usually uh, midway into the sea. Uh, it's basically a pontoon made out of steel and uh, uh, helping most infrastructure companies who are working in sea with uh, the allied activities. Next please. So this is a fleet of uh, different barges. We have five barges with different sizes. 
these are these can be also modified then according to client's requirements you can see all the length breadth and the depth of different barges more or less they look the same but could have very different kind of applications when it comes to the real world usage next please hotel uh, segment which we are in at the moment is mainly an economy segment uh, targeting most clientele in this area uh, catering to clientele who is coming into jamnagar to visit uh, big uh, companies like reliance sr uh, now as well as niara energy as well as we are commute uh, catering to people who are traveling for uh, the or visiting uh, uh, areas around here like dwarka as well as jamnagar which is uh, again a religious place so we are right in the center from between jamnagar and dwarka so it's a good uh, place to take a halt next please so here are the financials which we were talking about i was talking about to you earlier the revenues uh, we have had a turnover of about 7 crores and ebitda of about 6 and 1/2 crores and pet 3.75 crores for the past year next please so what is the next level as i told you the infrastructure boost brought in by this government uh, is been fantastic there is development all around bt coast west coast anywhere in india wherever there is water there is development going on so our target is to grow our business with a more uh, bigger uh, not bigger i would say but uh, more rampant we are looking at a more rampant growth and take advantage of what the market has to offer and i see this infrastructure works going on everywhere and we believe that this is here to stay and uh, we want to be in a position to take full advantage of whatever comes along all the advantage all the <clears throat> opportunities that come along our way next please so as i told you we've been in this business for a long time 40 years uh, so we have a very uh, good management team and been in this business for so many years that gives us an advantage hotel again as i told you we have a uh, great proximity of very good clientele and we are in a very good position to even grow this business in the future uh, but we are doing extremely well as we are today. next please charlie we were very well placed in the market we are known to most of the infrastructure companies most infrastructure companies avail our services so we want to take advantage of our name our status in the industry and the kind of quality of service we provide and most clients who are with us have been with us for years and the uh, repeated repeat clients for most of the projects which uh, we are in a great position to take advantage of also next please so this is what we we, we are looking at uh, with this initial public offering how we will be using the funds which we will be getting most of it is going to be used for a procurement of new barges as well as ongoing uh, uh, capital requirement operating capital requirement of the company next please is it very well over we are issuing 332 lakh shares price at 45 rupees issue is about 14.74 crores lot size 3000 uh you can see the figures uh, reserved for the hnis and the market makers 
and the retail investors about 15 lectures. Thank you, Beeline, and thank you, Salvesh, Girl and Associates, for being our lead managers and advisors to the issue. Next, please. Yeah. I think uh, we can uh, probably uh, open the, please, uh, the fo uh, forum up for Q&A, question and answers. If any, if I've missed out something, please feel free. Yeah, uh, sorry we didn't try to interrupt you. The, let me interrupt and jump to the conclusion. The issue is going to open on October 12th, that is from tomorrow, Thursday. And it is open for three days, Thursday, Friday, and Monday. The issue is going to close on Monday, that is in October 16, 2023. The company is coming up within P of around 10. And as you have seen, the EBITDA is almost 70% of the top line, right? So the EBITDA is around 6.5 crore, and the PAT is 3 crore, 47 lakhs. Now, we can continue with any kind of an FAQ questions, right? And when it has already covered up, the object of the issue is to acquire two more barges, which is costing around 11 crores, right? So the company is existing having five barges, then company would be having additional two barges in this current financial year. As a result, the portfolio of the barges would be seven post IPO, and it continues. So we can now start with the FAQ questions. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. To ask a question, please click on the Q&A tab on the panel and click on raise hand button. The operator will announce your name when it is your turn to ask a question. Please accept the prompt on your screen and unmute your microphone while proceeding with your question. We will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Our first question is from the line of Ashish Malani from Negin Capital. Please go ahead. Hello, hi Niji. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. Uh, so you said you have been in this business for 30, 40 years. So I got curious and I pulled out all your records of last 30 years from MCA website. And I can see from 2014 to 2020, your company has posted zero revenue. Okay. Also, you have a lot of other companies in your group. Uh, I think Ashapura Arcadia Private Limited. Then there is Arcadia Logistics Private Limited. Uh, they are only probably the two companies that have been doing some business. Uh, this company, I don't see uh, there has been any business uh, three years back. I don't think the company was really doing anything as such. So can you please tell us, have you transferred uh, your uh, business of this cargo, uh, right, uh, of barges uh, from one of your other companies into this company recently or what exactly has changed in the last three years? Because I don't see it in the numbers. Yeah. yeah. So it's, a, uh, it's a very nice question. Let me... Uh, explain to you, uh, let me take a minute to explain to you how uh, we've been growing and uh, what's the future and how this came into effect. See, uh, basically we were, we started off as cargo handling agents uh, in this business. And as you know, and uh, you'll be aware that the taxation structure and everything was very different and very highly taxed, uh, uh, corporates were very highly taxed. So when we started off, everything was being done in the individual capacity of the owner and the proprietor. And most of these equipments were bought in uh, personal capacity. Now that the taxation structure has changed and uh, more uh, emphasis has been given on corporatization and the taxes have been lowered, we have made, our strategy is to corporatize most of our, uh, our um, uh, verticals. Now, there are two verticals. The other companies which you mentioned are mainly into cargo-related activities, which is not in this company. This company is mainly into hiring and chartering. Now, as and when uh, most of this equipment were in and, uh, personal capacity. Now, as we are corporatizing, we are now buying most of our badges for this business in this company. So the other barges what we have 
are in personal capacity and not in our company form. Now as this uh, tax structures have changed, we are, we are bringing it into a corporate format and slowly and steadily moving most of our equipment in, in, into this company. So that is why you are not seeing anything three three years and now as we are growing, as we are seeing, we are adding more and more barges year on year and so most of, of this business will be routed uh, from this company. Uh, on this uh, yeah, I get it. Thank you. Thank you very much. But uh, just, uh, just to top up on that, uh, so right now you say this company currently owns five barges and probably one hotel. And the other one is a rented one that it operates, so, right? So, both, both the hotels are rental properties. Both the hotels are rental properties. Uh, one one is rental, one is owned by the company. Uh, yeah. And uh, what was the what was that about the barges that you just asked? Yeah. So, I was just asking. So, you the company currently has five barges, right? So, are there yes. any other barges that are owned by the promoter separately in other entities? Yes, there are. Okay, so do you plan to merge them into this business before you, but like I just wanted to, I want to understand like you are coming up with an IPO, right, right. there is money to get more barges and you have transferred some of your barges into this company, uh, right. like uh, what exactly is the plan uh, on the other side where you are also doing your business privately? See, that is a totally, totally a different business vertical. Okay. And this is a different vertical, though both are in marine businesses, but that is in cargo handling. And this is related to infrastructure. Uh, this is purely an infrastructure based company. And then no, the other that. companies are mainly cargo handling companies. No, I get it. My only question is like, do you keep, plan to keep these separate businesses or do you plan to merge them eventually into the same business? No, 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 no. We are planning to keep them separate. We are planning to keep them separate. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And just can I ask, uh, I see the paid up capital is very less for the company. So how are the first few barges like bought into this company? If you can tell they us. Were all, uh, they were all leveraged through banks. So they were, they were all taken through, okay, through loans. Okay, from the bank. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. That's all. Thank you. Our next question is from the line of Varun Agarwal, who is an investor. Please go ahead. Thank you for the opportunity. In terms of uh, utilization, how is the utilization level for the present five barges what we have? Sorry, can you repeat that again please? How is the utilization level for the five barges which we currently own? Are they fully utilized? 100%. 100%. Okay. And uh, from each barge on an average, what is the uh, capacity or the revenue potential? Revenue potential, each barge... Uh, uh, non monsoon period is about uh, 15 to 17 lakh rupees per barge and 50% uh, during monsoon periods. No, on an average, year, 2 crore rupees per barge per annum. 2 crore per annum per barge. 2, 2 crore, crore per annum per annum barge. Okay, and as you said that uh, the infrastructure tailwinds exist, <clears throat> then why is the company uh, venturing into the Hotel industry. What? Uh, no, there is infrastructure exists. Meaning, I, I didn't get uh, your question. I mean, there is so much scope in this uh, existing business itself. So why are right. we getting into an unrelated industry, which is see, the hotel it, industry? It, we see it is not an unrelated. Uh, see this particular area. One one property is already owned by the company, which we are the asset. We are trying to utilize this asset and not have it be a dead asset for the company. If the company owns the asset, and why not monetize these assets as well? That is the idea of the hotel. So going forward, we will not looking, we are not looking at adding more properties in the hotel sector then? At, at the moment, uh, we don't have any plans. I cannot comment on the future at the moment. But uh, there could be possibility if the markets are good, if the growth potential for all the stakeholders, we might also take that call. But it, currently, we have no plans of the future and we cannot even discuss those at the moment. So, when, uh, when a customer looks at hiring a barge for any purpose, how do we manage to get that particular deal? Is it the cost advantage or lower cost what we offer or anything else? 
there are both cost advantage as well as the availability. Okay. Availability is short in the market at the moment. And these new barges, what we are going to add to new with the IPO proceeds, we are buying that from the group companies or uh, from outside? No, we are be, they are being manufactured at the moment. So it's a fresh purchase from a new company, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll come back in the queue. Thank you. Our next question is from the line of Amit Bhatt from MIT Engineers. Please go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yeah, actually, the com company is a very small size company. So, what is the synergy between these two, uh, you know, verticals? One is the barges, which is infrastructure, and another is the hospitality. And the second question, when we are having the 22 crores of borrowings, why we are not, you know, uh, this uh, removing this hospitality business and uh, uh, get some cash and concentrate more on the main business, which is the barges? See, we also believe that this hotel also. Uh, is going to give us great revenues uh, and a more stable rev revenue form as well. And we are also using this hotel as a form of leverage as well as to purchase uh, uh, more barges. So this revenue as well as leveraging on this pro uh, on on this hotel is also what is required because removing. This hotel does not make great sense because this barges cannot be a single collateral for when it comes to borrowing. No bankers are wanting to leverage, just uh, give us leverage on just the barges. They need secondary collateral as well, which is real estate, which is a, uh, which is a non-movable asset. So it also comes handy to have a hotel in, in the portfolio. Okay. And the and second question is... If, if, if not a hotel, then I would need land, which is, uh, again, non-productive. At least we have a productive asset, which we can leverage on. I understand. And actually, you know, we uh, you said that per barge, uh, per year, you are getting a top line of 2 crores rupees. So with five, uh, you know, these barges, you are getting a turn, uh, you know, revenue of 10 crores approximately. And if you are going to add two more, then revenue can go to 12 to 13 crores uh, if we add the inflation. So, right. where, so how this company is going to become a sizable company? Because 12 to 15 crores company uh, uh, revenue uh, with the 22 crores of borrowing, because you are saying that uh, borrowing is going, is going to remain there. Because right. you know, uh, with the uh, whatever you are going to uh, gain or a profit you make, you can't you know repay this 22 crores of loan. So you know, please explain you know how you are going to scale up the business. How how can I not pay off? Wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. One more, one more thing to be clarified: out of 22 crore borrowings, the 12 crore borrowings is from director only. Only the outside borrowing is almost 11 to 12 crore from uh, banks. That is Bank of Baroda. Secure and borrowings is only 8 to 10 crore. So secure, bor secure borrowings are only 10 crore rupees, out of, uh, which has been financed against the five barges we are already owning in the balance sheet. But how we are going to scale up the business? I, I, I agree completely, agree with your point. But revenue, you know, you with this additional two barges, you can go up to 50, 40, 15 crores in coming one or two years. But you know, scale is still a very small. Revenue versus okay. profit is a high margin profit business because okay. almost okay. If, we, if we see the EBIT here, the expenses mostly expenses related related only to the interest, finance cost, and depreciation. In our balance sheet, the uh, loan outstanding from from bank is only for uh, almost uh, two barges because rest of the three barges are debt free now. So if we see that the company has uh, almost a property of 25 crore out of the borrowing of uh, 10 crore only because the barge is uh, the scrap value even here for the barge is almost 4, 4 crore to 5 crore rupees. So this is the business plan that we are creating the capex and generating the profit. So it's a profitable business. If you see the revenue, revenue will not grow at, at much scale but profit is very high in this business compared to other business. Understand. Understand. So, understand. 
So, so to sum up, whatever the internal accruals will be generated on year on year basis at a margin of 45% will be again deployed for acquisition of new batches over a period of 2 to 3 years. Understand. So all the business will, again will be utilized for acquisition of additional batches. Yes, great, year. great. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Our next question is from the line of Utsav Adsera from Nilesh. Please go ahead. Hi, uh, hi sir. Uh, I have four, quest four questions. Uh, first two is what is the average occupancy level for the two hotels for the six month of FY uh, 24 and uh, average uh, room rent uh, for both hotels? Average occupancy is about uh, uh, since since inception, which has been about uh, six months, we are enjoying uh, an occupancy rate of about sixty percent, and average uh, uh, average room rent uh, of about uh, uh, thousand rupees. Uh, One thousand rupees. Yeah, and basically it does not uh, contribute anything to our top line. Also, hardly it contributes ten percent of our top line. At the max for a full uh, night, actually, from the uh, hotel industry. Means so hotel business, uh, ten percent revenue only in uh, top line. So of the total revenue of our total revenue, even ten percent as of now, but it can contribute only at the max ten percent only. Even if it okay. gets at a high per uh, hundred percent occupancy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Our other two question is: uh, What is the daily charter rate for Bargi? Uh, and uh, what is the period of long term contract? Most contracts run, uh, uh, our paper contract is usually year to year, but each project lasts about four to five years, minimum is about three years, and uh, monthly charter, as I told you, is about 17 lakhs per batch per month. Um, and you can also quote the clients. Daily, daily the clients charter work. rate for Barbie. Daily charter rate, if you divide it by 30, you can say about 55, 65,000 per day. But usually, most of these barges don't go for daily charters. Okay. Because moving in from one place to another place is lakhs of rupees. So, usually, uh, they're most of the time, they're going for at least minimum period is six months to a year. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from the line of Disha Bali, who is an investor. Please go ahead. Disha Bali, your line has been unmuted. Please go ahead with your question. Disha Bali, may I request you to unmute your mic from your side? Your line has been unmuted. So, as there is no response from the participant's line, may we move to the next participant? Our next question is from the line of Amit Bhatt from MIT Engineers. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Actually, you said that uh, whatever you know profit you are going to get, you are going to use uh, for the buying you know more burgers in the future and then scale yeah. up the business. Now, right. sir, with the first question is uh, you are adding two more, okay, uh, with this IPO money. So, right. what uh, time it will take uh, when we you know we will get a complete you know 100% you know uh, uh, of use of that particularly two uh, barges. It will take a one, one year or more than that? No, no. One barge, they are already, as I told you, they are already in manufacturing. One barge, we are expecting delivery by the end of this month. And the second barge, by the next uh, end of next month. End of next year? Next month. Next month. So, in yes. this financial year, we are going to we are going to get both, both the bar, uh, barges, yes. okay? Yes, yes. Okay. Right. And it will, op it will operational, operational uh, uh, after three months? Means uh, immediately, next immediately, 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 immediately. and there is a demand, sir, for this uh, uh, barges. Immediately, we can get the business. 
Yes, yes. We already yes, have yes. Uh, contracts in place. And sir, what I actually, I just want to conclude, what I actually understand is, uh, because, you know, per March, uh, I think you require a 5 to 6 crore, okay? And uh, uh, after one year, your revenue, if you are going to consider the 7 barges with the 2 crore rupees of, uh, uh, you know, business from one barge, then, you know, top line becomes somewhat. I'm not talking about, but somewhat, you know, uh, in the range of 12 to 14 crores rupees with the 40 percentage of the prof profit after tax margin. So right. every year you are going to, you know, uh, create the cash we can use to buy more barges. So within five or five or ten years, you will have a good, you know, capacity of barges, right, sir? This is the right answer. That's, right. That's right. All right. Okay. Thank you, sir. All the best. And for the new barges which you already order has been placed and company has already uh, out of the income accruals paid around 2 crore rupees irrespective of this IPO because for manufacturing of a barge an advance has been given and that advance has been given from the internal accruals by the company. So they are expecting the delivery of this barges by this month hand and the another is from the next month hand. And it will be put to use on the same day itself. So in this, in the next half year, the results can be expected. Thank half year. you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Our next question is from the line of Rishid Shah from Nuwama Wealth Management. Please go ahead. Richard Shah, your line has been unmuted. Please go ahead to ask a question. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Please go ahead. Yeah, sorry. So, good evening, sir. Uh, so, uh, most of the questions were answered earlier. So, I had a few. Uh, firstly, I would like to understand more about the relationship that you have with Arcadia and how is it helping you in your business and contracts that you have. Ar Arcadia is is uh, proprietorship of the managing director. Okay, so Arcadia I mean, uh, okay, so the business that we source that is uh, individually as uh, urban or we uh, kind of get a trickle down contract from Arcadia is that how how does that work? So, sorry, sorry, I, I didn't get to get the question. No, as Arvind, do we source the contracts ourselves independently or is it kind of a subcontract from Arcadia? No, 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 no. See, what has happened was in the past, in the, in the market, we were only known as Arcadia. Because Arcadia is right, the okay. proprietor and most of the badges were in the name of uh, the proprietor. So, Arcadia is the brand which we have been recognized as. So okay. some contracts okay. from the past have been trickled down from Arcadia uh, as we were the registered vendors. But as we are growing now, most of the contracts what we are taking is in the name of, uh, directly in the name of uh, Arvind and Company Shipping Agencies. Okay, okay. So going forward, the percentage of revenue from the subcontracting will reduce dramatically, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's great. Uh, secondly, uh, so we talked about the contracts that we typically have with customers. So it may be on an average for uh, renewal is year to year and uh, basically in the term, average term is around three years that we have with our customers. Okay. Uh, so I would like to understand basically how is the price set and uh, what kind of price reset do you see? How often do you do it? See, uh, most of it, uh, the prices are quite uh, stable and standard and it very much as you know market is all driven, driven by market forces. Uh, currently as we are seeing uh, uh, the demand and supply, the demand is much higher than the supply. That is what governs the prices as open market sources or forces and, uh, uh, and depending on the period we do negotiate there are chances of uh, variation in prices depending on the term. If, if the term is a shorter term, we could ask for more. If the term is larger, say five years, six years, expected project completion time, then it can again vary uh, on those kind of factors. 
No, uh, so yeah, exactly. So what I'm trying to understand, basically, if you, for example, if you it's an annual contract, right. so maybe if you set a price as on this date, so will the, uh, as you said, uh, the market forces determine the price. So right. the current market price is headed upwards, and as you said, the demand is more than the supply. So right. the prices might be heading upwards. So do they get reflected in your annual contract, or will it happen only after the year end and then? Uh, no, no, no. Usually, if, uh, when a contract is fixed, they, we know the uh, approximate term for which we are going to go. It could be a yearly contract, but we know we know from the company as well as the size of the project how long the project is going to last. So there is not okay. major cha- major changes uh, when it comes to renewal of the contract. It's it's uh, it, it usually remains. The same. <clears throat> okay. Sometimes okay. if there is sure. some modification required hmm. during ongoing project and uh, capital hmm. has to be outlaid for those modifications, then yes, the uh, prices do change uh, depending on 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 the uh, changes required. Okay. Okay. Fine. Uh, so. And uh, thirdly, about the competitive landscape, I would like to understand. So, who is the key player, key other player in this space, in the Bharat yes. space? There are, there are quite a few small players, as well as uh, okay. larger players, our size. But none that I know of are in the publicly listed space. Okay. So, the larger players would be similar to what our size is. Okay. Right. Yes. 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 And, uh, so, uh, and uh, lastly, I would like to understand how difficult is it to get into this business, and how do you kind of protect these sort of margins that you are earning? Uh, there is nothing in this world that you can protect as such. But uh, only thing is the economies of scale. One thing which we can uh, protect our uh, margins and. The, the size basically to be able in one, being able to give a decent amount of uh, fleet size on a one particular to one particular contractor or one particular project because the mobilization costs and everything are extremely high in these kind of equipments so if you are able to have a larger fleet and able to cater to bigger infrastructure companies, it eases the uh, process uh, and reduces our uh, costs drastically. Okay, got it. So basically, operating leverage will be a larger part going forward. Right. Right. And uh, lastly, uh, I would like to. Uh, kind of get some clarity on the management. So we uh, gave a pro- brief profile of the management in our slides. So um, the CEO, as I see, uh, kind of relatively fresh to the industry as compared to what you and your father are in this business. So what is the role exactly that the management has and how does it help us as a business? I, I, uh no, no one in this uh, uh, in from the management side is new. Most of them are, we have been in this industry for 40 years, and most of the people with the experience of 30 to 40 years in this industry, 30 years at least, uh-huh. about 25 to 30 years. Okay, because yeah, I was actually uh, looking at the leadership team, and the presentation says that the CEO has an experience for around three years in the business. CEO has an experience of more than 50 years. Oh, so there might be something wrong with the presentation, I think. Fine, sir. Uh, that's it from my end. Thank you so much for answering. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A reminder to all participants to ask a question, please click on the QA tab on the panel and click on raise hand button. Thank you. We have a text question from Vishal Gupta from VG Stock Research. Is your focus on hotels your near-term plan? 
focus is on bargain entire focus is on uh, barge building and barge acquisition more more than any uh, this hotels yes to run these hotels more effectively more efficiently that is our focus but our growth strategy is only barge thank you our next question is from the line of utsav atsera from nilesh parek what is the average occupancy level for the two hotels for the six months of 23-24? What is what is the average room rate per hotel for the six months of 23 to 24? Thousand rupees. What is the daily charter rate for Baj? Sixty-five thousand rupees, approximately. What is the period of long term contract? One year. Thank you. Our next question is from the line of Next question is from the line of Disha Bali, who is an investor. Could you please explain the synergies between the chartering of barges and the hospitality business? What there is would no be sir. Okay. Uh, should I go ahead with the question, sir? Yes, please, sir. Yes. What would be the revenue contribution from barges and hotel? Uh, revenues from uh, barges about 90% of, of the gross uh, revenue and about 10, 10 to 15% from the hotel. Also, if you could throw some light on operating profit margins from these two business segments. Uh, hotel about 30 to 35 percent and uh, barges uh, 85 to 90 percent. Thank you. Our next text question is from Ravi Punjabi who is a freelancer. Good evening sir. Since you mentioned that the average revenue per barge is 2 crores a year. So, with 7 barges, we can safely assume a turnover of 14 crores annually. How do we see the turnover and company growing? Uh, as you said, uh, to the, we expect to the tune of 14 crores uh, with the additional of uh, the two new barges in our fleet. Thank you. <coughs> So, our next question is from the line of Rahil Shah from Crown Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, hello, hi, uh, Mr. Shah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, hi. Uh, my question is regarding this uh, this barge. So, uh, once you have a new barge in your fleet, is there a thing such as there's a life cycle for this barge? So how, like how long can you use one barge until you have to, you know? One one barge, as per government rules and regulation, one barge can be used for 25 years. 25 years, okay. So, so until 25 years, you have no cost on it. Is that right? Sorry. So until until the next 25 years, once once uh, since, since the beginning of a new barge, you have no additional cost. Is that right? No, that's not right. Uh, yes, there are uh, new um, maintenance and steel renewals do come along. Okay. Uh, which is uh, the surveys are done by the government authority every year, and mostly there is steel renewal about for about 20% of the original steel every five years. So, are these costs substantial or minimal? Like, uh, and how Maybe often do they occur? Once in three to five years. Once in three to five years, okay. And earlier you mentioned that, you know, like the three of your barges have become debt free now, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so similarly it will happen for the barges, and you also mentioned that your costs like uh, depreciation and all that will go down. Yes. And that will also benefit your margins. That's correct. Right, right, okay, okay. That's, that's all from me. Thank you and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. We, our next question 
is a text question from Jay Maru from Multi B Investments. How many different projects is the company serving currently? We are currently serving four different projects. What is the unexpired period of current contracts on hand? They are different on different contracts. As I told you, most contracts are for one year and renewed, uh, renewed every year. So this current year is just started. So uh, the whole year is still available to us. Thank you. A reminder to all participants to ask a question. You may please click on the Q&A tab on the panel and click on raise hand button. Thank you. We have a text question from the line of Nimesh Dula from Golden Trunk. How old are the current barges? Any barges beyond 15 years? No. All of them are new barges. Two years and so, two and three years old. Thank you. A reminder to participants to ask a question, please click on the Q&A tab on the panel and click on raise hand button. Thank you. So should we conclude the call? There are no questions, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. As there are no further questions, I would like to hand the conference over to Mr. Neville Savjani, co-founder and head merchant banking at Beeline Capital Advisors Private Limited for closing comments. Thank you everyone for joining with us at a short notice. Right? And if any further details you require, you can mail us on mb at beelinemb.com or you can mail to the company. We would be happy to answer all your queries if any. Right? Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being part of this. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Arvin and Company Shipping Agencies Limited, that concludes today's session. Thank you for your participation. You may now click on the exit meeting to disconnect.